In last session, we saw how to connect multiple LEDs to Arduino and how to write down programs for it using our Blockly software, Blockly based software. In this session, we are going to see how to accept digital inputs onto an Arduino pin. As we have discussed before also, every pin of Arduino from pin number 0 to 13 and pin number A0 to A5 can be used as digital output as well as digital input. This session is about using the particular pins of Arduinos as digital input. Let's begin. Usually, whenever we are developing any kind of electronic project or any kind of electronic system, we may come across connecting a switch to our project. Say, pressing a button to turn something on or pressing a button to son turn something off and many such things. Moreover, not only buttons, but we can also connect number of different sensors to the Arduino to work as input. For example, a proximity sensor or a line sensor, there are many types of sensor. Usually, these buttons or these sensors are to be connected to the input of Arduino as logic input. Means, they should not give voltage more than 5 volt and they should not give voltage less than 0 volt. Whatever is applied to the pin of Arduino, if it is within the range of 5 volt, then it is treated as logic high. If it is in the range of ground or ground voltage is applied, then it is treated as logic low. Here, we are looking at the simplest tactile buttons, which are very popularly available and can be used with Arduinos. These tactile buttons are very easy to interface with Arduino. They also come in a four leg pattern as well as a two leg pattern. So, this can be interfaced to the Arduino along with any kind of digital input. But before interfacing that, we need to see how digital input is read in Arduino programming. Look at this concept first. Whenever we want to connect a switch, say this is the configuration which we want to use as switch. Here this pin goes to the Arduino and this is the VCC, means 5 volt pin. If the switch is pressed, we are sure that we'll get 5 volt from this pin onto the Arduino pin. But when we do not press this switch, what is the status here? Absence of logic 1 or absence of high doesn't ensure presence of logic low or 0 here. This creates a tri-state condition which is also called as high impedance condition. And this tri-state condition is usually not good for the embedded systems or not good for the microcontrollers. In that tri-state situation, the Arduino can take any decision. It can either treat it as high or it can treat it as low. So, to avoid this problem, what we have to do is, we can connect a resistor from the Arduino pin towards ground. This concept is called as a pull-down resistor. See what it does. When this switch is pressed, the Arduino pin over here will get the VCC straightforward no issues at all but when the switch is released this resistor ensures that the pin which is connected here will get a ground potential through this resistor it eliminates the problem of tri stating so if the switch is pressed it gets logic 1 if the switch is released it gets logic 0 in the similar context there is a concept of pull up where we connect the switch against ground and we need to have a pull up resistor. This is the same resistor but this time connected to VCC. What happens here is when the button is pressed, input at this point will read logic 0. But when the button is released, this point is pulled high or pulled to VCC or pulled to 5 volt through this pull up resistor. In Arduino, whenever we are making connections, we have to either connect a pull up resistor on hardware or we have to enable the internal pull up resistor. Initially, we'll see how to enable the. We'll, initially, we'll see how to use the pull-up resistor by connecting it externally onto the breadboard. Here, we'll have multiple assignments. And first, and the simplest of the assignment is to connect a switch in exactly this configuration, and create an LED or make an LED go on if the switch is pressed, and make an LED go off if the switch is not pressed. In Arduino, we use this pin digital read to read any particular pin of Arduino. Also, the pin particular pin has to be made to work as input pin, which happens automatically in the Arduino Blockly. 
As told before, digital read function in Arduino reads either high state or low state, depending upon what is the potential present onto the Arduino pin. Let's see a sample circuit diagram. If you look at this sample schematic closely, we have a switch connected to pin number 2, which is connected to plus 5 volt or VCC. This is this configuration where switch is connected against VCC. So here our pin number 2 is connected to VCC through switch and pin number 2 is also pulled down to ground through a register. This register can be any general purpose register. You can use a 4.7K or you can use a 10K register here. So if the switch is pressed, pin 2 will read plus 5 volt or logic high. If the switch is released, pin 2 will read ground or logic 0. So this is how we have to do. Okay. Now let's try to write down a program for it. If a switch is connected in this configuration and if we have to blink an LED or if the switch is pressed, if we have to make an LED go high, then what program is needed? So the problem assignment here is connect a switch to Arduino pin 2 connect other point of switch to VCC, connect a pull down register and use an LED at pin 13. If switch is pressed, LED will turn on if switch is not pressed, LED will turn off. Now here, program doesn't know if the switch is pressed or if it is not pressed. But program knows whether the pin reads high or the pin reads low. Let's write down a program for it in Arduino Blockly. So, let's, let's start with the program here. So let's go into the logic and see for if and do. Here we want to read the logic input connected at pin number 2 and make an LED go high or low. So in the input output tab, we'll use read digital pin. Here we want to read pin number 2. You can see as soon as I take that block, in setup one line is added that is pin mode 2 comma input. Now what we'll do is we'll create a comparison of this input switch against ground or PCC. So if this block which can perform an equal to, not equal to, greater than or less than kind of comparison. So if digital pin 2 is equal to, again into the logic will take true. As per that socket that we are creating, if the switch is pressed, the pin will read plus 5 volt, which means logic high, which means true. So this loop will execute if the switch is true or if whatever we have pressed or whatever we have uh, whatever the switch is pressed whatever switch we have connected it's pressed so if the switch is pressed what we want to do is the led connected to pin number 13 you can also use the built-in led here make it high and similarly if you just duplicate this entire block then there is only one change. If digital read pin 2 is equal to equal to false, then we'll make this LED go low. As simple as that. So see, the Arduino program, corresponding Arduino program has also been generated. Here what happens is, if pin number 2 receives a logic 1 or true signal, then the LED will made high 
and if pin number 2 receives a logic low or false signal then the particular pin is made low. The hardware of this particular experiment along with this schematic we will see in the next video. All you have to do after you have created a program like this is download this to the Arduino board using this button and we can see the output. Thanks for watching.